How's it going everyone? I'm back. It's been a while since I made a video, an actual video, but I really wanted to quickly talk about Smash Ultimate. Now that's all coming up all fine and dandy, all fine, 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 dandy and whatnot. Pretty soon, in about four more days, we will be playing the Ultimate Smash Bros. Now, I could go on and on about things that I want from the game, things I'm looking forward to, but I'd rather make a small little video of what I think you could do to prepare for Smash Ultimate before the game comes out. With only four days away from playing Smash Ultimate, there are a couple things that you should consider before getting the game, things you could prepare for, things you want to consider, and I thought I would go over for not only myself, but for anyone that's listening on things that they can do pr to prepare for this amazing game. First thing I would really consider is is decide what controller you are going to play with. Now, this may come as a little bit of a no-brainer, but controllers do matter in certain games, especially fighting games, especially Smash Bros. considerably. Now, you can always opt for the Joy-Cons that the Switch naturally comes for, or there's also the Pro Controller, which I believe is designed to be like the NES or the SNES controller, which that's another fine option too. But for most Smash players, you would use one of these, a GameCube controller. This has been pretty much the default controller you default to when playing a Smash Bros. game ever since Melee. And with good reason, I still consider the GameCube controller to be one of the best controllers ever made. It just feels right in your hands. Speaking of which, I really want to quickly announce that I am doing a giveaway. I'm actually giving away... Not this exact controller, but this exact controller. I am giving away the Smash Bros. Ultimate GameCube controller that usually you see with the Ultimate that it comes in package to give away to one lucky person. I want people to enjoy this game and I think this game will be one to remember. So I want to commemorate that by giving away a GameCube controller. I may be giving away a copy of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate straight up, but I'm not sure if I'm able to do that properly. But rest assured, I will definitely be giving a GameCube controller for free. All you gotta do is go visit the links below and enter. Please, please, please do that. I would really love to give this stuff away. And I shall be announcing the winner on my Twitch channel at 9 p.m. on the 7th, the day that Smash Bros. Ultimate comes out. I will be announcing that. Good luck to everyone that enters. This kind of goes with deciding what controller you want to get to play the game, but another big thing to factor in is deciding what equipment you want to use. Now, what I mean by that is also the controllers, but also if you have kind of spotty internet connection, I would definitely recommend picking up a LAN converter for your Switch. This will just kind of smooth everything out for your internet connection. It'll make everyone online happy. Believe me, it will make everybody online happy. Another thing to consider is if you are using a GameCube controller, you need a GameCube adapter. Now, you can pick these up at Best Buy or GameStop or Amazon for relatively cheap. You need these to use a Nintendo GameCube controller to play the game. If you have the controller but don't have the adapter, then you're kind of SOL. Other things to consider is you may want to use a grip for whatever controller you're using, or if you're using a wireless controller that requires batteries, maybe pick up some rechargeable batteries or at least have a bunch of batteries on hand so you can switch them out really quickly. Hey, look at that, I kind of did a pun there. Practice, practice, practice. Now, I would recommend playing Smash 4 over Melee, although Melee is a good choice, but Smash Ultimate is definitely going to be more akin to Smash 4. So if you want to kind of get the hang of the game, then I would recommend practicing Smash 4. You only got four more days to practice it, but you might as well get a jump ahead of everyone else. Another big thing is watching videos. Watch as many videos as you can, research frame data, research as much as you can about everything, about the game. You want to watch a lot of videos. You kind of want to see what everyone does, interpret what everyone is going to do, and just generally learn more about the game. Next up is picking a character. Which character are you going to play? There are 74 characters right out of the box. Which character are you going to play? Now there are 74 characters right off the bat that's a lot of characters to play. Definitely try to learn which character you would like to play, which one you're interested in, mainly which one looks fun to you. You'll definitely have more of an appreciation for the game 
if you play a character that you really like. This goes back to watching videos. Watch a lot of videos for characters you are interested in so you can get an idea of how they play, maybe look a little bit at their frame data, and make a ultimate decision. Hey, look at that, another pun. Now the last thing is, figure out which character you want to unlock first. Now, every 10 minutes on Smash Ultimate, you will unlock a new character. However, you can also go unlock a character, fight them, turn off the system, go back on, kill yourself real quickly, and then unlock another character by fighting them and beating them up. That's another way to really rush through the way you want to unlock as many characters as possible. But I hear it is randomized if you do it that way. There is the campaign World of Light, but I believe that is also the 10 minute restriction. And that is pretty random if I'm not mistaken. You can also do classic mode, which there are links around on the internet where it will show you, hey, you play Mario through classic mode and then you will find and unlock Sonic. They have a whole list of how you unlock characters via classic mode if you just want a direct link to how you want to unlock a certain character. That's going to be it for me about my little tidbits of what to do before Smash Ultimate comes out. Please, please, please go try out for that GameCube controller. I would really want to give that to someone that will appreciate it and use it. I'll let you guys know if I'm going to do that Smash Ultimate copy of the game giveaway itself. Not quite sure on that yet, but I will let you guys know. Smash Ultimate is looking like it's going to be a pretty damn good game, and I am wanting and hoping that this game really takes off and, in a way, unite all the Smash players. <laughs> but anyways, that's it going to be for me. Uh, I'm going to start working on some other stuff and prepare myself for more Smash Ultimate things before the game comes out. I'll be streaming all day the day that Smash Ultimate comes out, so if you want to pop into my Twitch channel, and say hi, and even get a chance to win the controller, I would really appreciate it. So, have a good one, practice a lot, watch those videos, plan out everything, and hopefully, we'll settle in Smash. See you guys later.